Hey guys, Jason. And today I want to talk about Litecoin. And more specifically, I want to talk about Litecoin and Google searches. So the search queries for the term Litecoin has actually doubled in the last week or so. Now you might say, well, man, that's, that's pretty good for Litecoin, isn't it? Well, actually, it's phenomenal. And I want to explain why. So when you search for cryptocurrencies and you look at Google search trends, if you compare anything else to the term Bitcoin, you'll be blown away. If you try to you know, compare it to Bitcoins, to Bitcoin shards, to Litecoin, to Dogecoin, you'll find that Bitcoin just surpasses everything dramatically. Even in my videos, you'll notice when I do look into the data of it, about 94 to 98% of my views that come from people searching on YouTube come from them searching for the term Bitcoin, which is kind of crazy because you know I have all these cryptocurrency videos and it seems to be that the term Bitcoin is how they find even Litecoin videos or how they find Peercoin videos or Dogecoin videos. And that's you know really crazy. So to see that the search terms are broadening out for the average user is a great thing to have happening. Now you might say, well, it's a double-edged sword. You know, because of the 300,000 coins that have been dumped, could it be that people are searching for that? And it does play into the, the equation. The biggest search term with the term Litecoin included in it is why are Litecoins so low, or why are Litecoins so cheap, or why does Litecoin's price um, degrade, or think the terms like that. And it, it really all boils down to the, the, the search term of why is Litecoin going down. So a more advanced user would have known, or someone that watches my channel, would have known that the 300,000 coins caused Litecoin's price to the, the drop down dramatically at one point down to $2 and then regain within a five hour time period up to about $8. Um, still not regaining its $10 value that it had previously before the, um, essentially the dump or the buy up of coins, however you want to prefer it. And so you might ask me, well, is that what people are searching for? Is it just people that don't know about the dump and are just wanting to know, you know, why is the price down? That could play into it, but I have a counter argument that's going to look pretty good. So there's, a, there's a, a site that somebody was talking about called Litecoin Learner. And this site is completely dedicated to showing you how to get a Litecoin client, how to set up a Litecoin um, wallet, how to import keys, how to use it, how to buy with Litecoin. Really all around a great tutorial series on how to use Litecoins. And they actually went from about 20 people uh, in one day looking up videos to about 125 people. And so this dramatic increase kind of shows us, well, Litecoin is being searched way more, double, and so all those searchers aren't just searching for you know what's going on with the price. They're actually searching because of this, and it could be an adverse effect of the news with this huge dump. Um, it could be that people are hearing the term Litecoin and actually are searching it, and it's pretty cool because you know like I said before, one of the things is if you if you look at a comparison chart, you know even the biggest next term is like Bitcoins to Bitcoin. If you search Bitcoin the term search or the query has way more and then you have the you know, search term Bitcoin is so much lower and it's kind of strange so it's kind of you know I've always said before cryptocurrency has, I think have a place in the you know in the realm of Bitcoin or in the realm of cryptocurrencies depending on how you look at cryptocurrencies related to altcoins versus Bitcoin scenarios but no matter how you look at it to see another search term such as Litecoin expand and take some of the market share or even add on to the market share of what Bitcoin has had is a great thing and it shows that it's not just people looking for the price it's people looking and saying okay I've heard about this Litecoin all enough times I want to look into it I want to see what is it is it a, is something good to get into is the value right is it something I want to invest into is, uh, yeah. and then once you do that how do I learn how to use it you know because the average person probably doesn't know yeah how do I use a wallet how do I send funds how do I receive funds how do I you know import a private key things like that that's very important you know these things are being searched now and I think that brings an overall positive to the Litecoin community because now we have you know positive intake and more media attention and that's something that I think you know a lot of people and, and including myself has been looking for because like I stated with, with myself you know trying to figure out what search terms to use to get people to, to get you know people that want to search for pure coin videos or dogecoin videos or litecoin videos how do I get those people to my videos so they, they can be educated and the problem I've had is literally the term I've, and I've had this people that search for the term bitcoin will find Litecoin videos, will find my Dogecoin videos, or not just mine, but others. <laughs> it's funny because the term Bitcoin is kind of the only term that you can use to find anything of these, um, of these results, you know, without being con conflicted interests. So it, it's just kind of crazy, but um, double is really, really great, ex especially when you have the price, you know, has been fluctuating and having a lot of problems, especially including with this 300,000 coins that have been dumped. But anyway, guys, this is Jason. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.